Welcome back to Big Herb the Nerd and today's episode of the London Journeyman as we are back. We've got Arsenal again, away leg this time. FA Cup fourth round replay and then a game away against Sunderland. Form has been iffy. We lost 3-1 in the game since the last episode to Cardiff. Joe Rule scoring two quite good efforts from the outside of the box. And Nico Williams had a shocking game. He was down at six. He was scheduled to come off. And in the time for me deciding the sub and the sub going through, he managed to score an own goal. So, um... Yeah, literally the worst game he could possibly have had. Uh, so we're struggling a little bit. Like form has fallen off slightly. We're fifth in the championship still. 47 points, 30 games played. It's going to get tight. Like I said, down to, what, 44, 43 points? We could be down to 12th with a couple of losses. Uh, if we want to stay in the playoffs, which would be good. I mean, we don't need to make the playoffs. We don't need to get promoted this year. Making the playoffs would be quite nice. Giving ourselves an outside chance of promotion in the first season in the championship would be quite nice. And there's something potentially happening that could really, really uh, change this save around. So, what has been going on slightly in the background? There was, there was a few rumours that um, that there was going to be a takeover. That uh, there was a takeover on the on the line, and what actually happened was we got a new contract out. Then what happened? Uh, there was a new story that said there may be a takeover. Someone was looking at it. Chairman then offered me a new deal. I took new deal. I've got a three-year contract. That was set. Then didn't think anything of it. It's been about a month, month and a half maybe. And now this has happened. QPR promised takeover bounty. French investor Sammy Tastit has uh, uh, says he would make 76 million available for new players if his takeover plans for QPR are successful. Um, so he's looking to buy the club for about 53 million, then give us a 76 million pound transfer budget. Are we on the verge of a sugar daddy takeover? And does that mean I get fired? Because I hope it doesn't. We're doing very well with QPR at the moment. So we have, we've been put under a transfer embargo. We cannot buy or sell any more players now. The transfer window's finished. It's the 7th of February anyway. But we're waiting to see whether we're going to be given a huge bounty. So can we get playoff? We're going to need to play very well because they're going to judge us when they come in. We're going to need to try and... If we can get playoffs this year, I mean, we could go up potentially with a massive transfer kitty for next season. Or we make playoffs. We could end up with 76 million to spend on players next year. That is a ridiculous amount of money. And it's going to be so hard not to just go and spank it all. But it means we can spank it. We can go and buy big. Obviously, it's not come through yet. I don't want to get too excited about the potential £76 million transfer budget I may have. And we'll have to, we'll just have to carry on. But you should know, that's on the horizon. QBR could be the team we stay with all the way through if we end up with a sugar daddy who's just going to keep us in the money. So, if you look, you can see the problems. We've got no strikers again, cup tied. We've got Tullock, John Jules and Grimmin all on the bench, all injured. Uh, I, I can't be bothered to go and pull up youth players. They're all back very soon from their injuries, but all injured. Walswan's playing up front. He's got no fitness whatsoever. Um, it's it's a, a little bit bare bones at the moment. It's a little bit bare bones. So, we, it's fine because we've only got, got to play Arsenal away. So, let's see how this will go. Sneaky little win. We're going to play the away formation from the beginning and end. We're going 4-2-3-1. They're going 4-2-3-1. Oh, fucking hell, they're playing Hazard in this one. Come on, game. Playing Hazard against me. So if we go assertive, we've got nothing to lose here. We literally have nothing to lose here. Get out there. Do what you need to do. Let's make sure Hazard is closed down. Let's make sure we're just doing a bit of closing down on these players. And uh, can we get away with something? We know with the away formation, we can score goals. You know, we have snuck big games before. We can score against Arsenal. We scored three goals against them last time to draw three all. Can we get a win here and get us through in the FA Cup? All is going to be, all victories are required, essentially. If I need to put my uh, my reputation on the line to keep my job. Hernandez now, on the ball. Could this be the first attack? Three men forward. Oh, goals hit the post. I was lined up. There was three of them there to take it. Right, and Gould has smashed it against the post. Swans picked up a knock straight away. Come on, but the damn injuries. Sterling now. First time. Hernandez with the header. Weak header. But yeah, we know when when transfer when ball takeovers happen. A lot of the times they put the manager on almost a, a, a warning. Sometimes you get fired straight away. I'm hoping if they get the 76 million, they don't just fire straight away and try and bring in a big manager. 
they take note that we are doing the best that we've ever done with QPR. If they do try and fire us, we're on a three-year contract. So it's going to cost them some money to get rid of me. So um, hopefully they won't. They'll keep us in. They'll give us the money. Give us some faith. Come on. Don't, don't let Arsenal score after I've just given us that big speech about how great we're going to play. Corner now. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Turan clears. Hazard's there. He goes back outside. Fernandez, Gnarsson, big save. Gnarsson had some big bids coming in. West Brom were trying to buy him. I got him up to about five and a half, six million for him. For our young goalie who, do you know what? If I was going to get six million for him, I could sell. If it wasn't the last day of the season, I probably would have accepted. Um, if we'd brought another goalie in, I definitely would have accepted. But yeah, interesting. But I think they were obviously desperate. They started about two million and ended up getting up to about five or six. Now, coming to half time, we are playing. Our attacking is so bad. Our attacking players have got no idea what they're doing. Let's go for aggressive. I'm far from pleased. Defence, we're not doing we're not doing badly. But attack, we've just got nothing. I know these aren't unnecessarily our first teamers, but they've got enough quality about them. Half of them are freaking strikers. Get in there and take a shot, will you? Nelson with a free kick. He's gone round. Gnarsson saves this one this time. Doesn't just push it in his net. Right, Tulloch might actually have to come on. He's actually marked up as not being injured. 53 minutes. Corner goes in. Mancini at the back post. Ah! Oh! That was weak, man. That was very, very weak. Right, Tuluk's going to come on. Sosa gets the goal. I don't know what happened here. They slid it at the back post. <sighs> Corner, man. Of all the things we let in, it's a damn set piece. Look, he snuck away. Go, go to the back post. A slide, and Sosa is just there. Gnarsson just stood around. He's got his hands on his hips, pretty much. Still, now the defenders have dropped off. Right, can we go for a show some passion, please, guys? It's only the FA Cup. Third, uh, fourth round. We're, you got the Emirates. Like this is the time you step up and start playing. Like these are the big games. You should be you should be gunning for Arsenal. You should be thinking let's make Ar Arsenal look stupid, not let's get turned over by Arsenal. Kinkle now Souza into Kinkle again. Nelson long shot <laughs> wide. We're gonna switch to the attacking formation just to move some stuff up. We've got <sighs> Mahasini's not playing well. They're going for it now, aren't they? They are going for it. Can we? How many more subs can we make? I've got no real fit players. Right. Burn can come on in midfield. And John Jules. Because that will... That should change an inside forward. God damn it. That will change up the formation slightly. An inside forward coming in. Playing as a second striker. Demand more. Come on. Good Arson. Long ball forward. Someone win it. No one's gone for it. It didn't go anywhere near any of our players. God's sake. Win it. Ah, oh, it's hit the back of Burn. For fuck's sake, guys. Hitting the back of you, and then they've come away with the ball. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, man. That goal came from literally just stupid play. The ball hit Jack Burn in the back of the head. Look. Oh, my God. I oh, know it was before then. Nelson then picks it up, and the counter goes. No one's marking anyone. One block, and then ugh, Ayer comes in. Beats Gunnarsson at the post he's literally stood on. Oh. It's no good. Now Vine is playing at a six. Man. We have been destroyed here. It was always going to be difficult. We always should be losing this game. But to have 6.4s and 6.5s, it just annoys me. We're not even trying. It's like, at least we should be trying, and then they'd be better. Like, they're defending well, or they're blocking. But we're not even playing that well. We're not making passes. We're not getting anywhere. Jesus, we're not winning headers. We're, not, we're second to everything. Mancini, out to Simone. Come on, man. Get on them. Get on them. This away formation does not work. Oh, it's the, it's the attacking one now, isn't it? Jack Byrne actually made a tackle. Well done, son. Come on. Forward play. Think forward. Don't go long. Oh, are you going to win it? No, of course you're not. Of course you're not. Second to every ball. Jesus Christ. Burn nods it on to no one. Jack Burn, you moaned about not playing. You've come on. All I've seen is just poor play from you. Absolutely terrible play. Obviously, this is our weakened team. We've got a lot of injuries. We've got a lot of tired players. We've got a lot of players cup tied. Trying to just make myself feel better about this poor, poor performance. Oh, God, Viner, all you've done is pass back. And then we give it back to them. It's just attack versus defense if you do it like that. If you just hump it forward to them, they're going to come back at you. They're going to come back at you every time. Damn, full time. 2-0. 
bollocks. Their performance wasn't excellent. We played shit. You can't go well done. You played at sixes. Absolutely shocking performance. We're out in the FA Cup. We should have gone out last time. Oh, more injuries. More problem. Nobody wants to lose. Gnarsen reveals Herbert for you. Yes, I was very angry. Very angry indeed. Right, we've got a game in two days. Brilliant. Another game, two days. Sunderland. Probably going to be tired for that one. And then the game two days after that. Can't wait. Lovely. I'll see you back then. Okay, we are back. Sunderland QPR. <laughs> we need a win. We're away from home. We need a win, though. They are close to us in the league, I think. Ugh, we're not playing well. We need to cut the rot here. Get a good game. We've made some changes just to get a fit team in, but it doesn't mean we are rotating nearly every game. Um, we've gone with the strongest 11 we can get out. Mags is back in. He needs to start scoring again. Um, Cucurella's still suspended. Look, we've got injuries and, and fitness issues with Gribbin, John Jules, and Swan still. It's, it's a tough time at the moment. Games are coming thick and fast. This is this is our tough bit of the season, I think. We're out of the Cups now, which means we can concentrate purely on the league. And I'm hoping the speculation in the press about the ownership isn't reflecting on the team. But it doesn't seem to be doing it... I'm expecting a better performance. It doesn't seem to be doing it on morale times, like ways. Like, morale's still good. But whether it's, there's a, a second thing, a second metric in the game that is uh, is impacting the guys as they go out. Oh, God, Sunderland corner now. And Wisdom gets there and scores his first goal of the season. Oh, always the first goal of the season, eh? 30 games in, Andre Wisdom scores against us. Hasn't done it against anyone else. No, just us. Beats two men there to the header from a corner. We're 1-0 down to Sunderland. Brilliant. We dropped down to eighth place. I knew I shouldn't have kept saying, look, a couple of losses and we drop out of the playoff places because that's exactly what's bloody happened here. Nico Williams on the ball. Great pass by El Massini. Shit ball by Nico Williams in. Really bad. Max needs much better balls. Norman, big kick. Win this. Defence, win this. Nico wins. Doesn't head it to his own team, though. Walsh. Oh, God. Maja shoots. Blocked. Corner again. Oh, we are not looking confident. We're not looking strong as a team. Ball's in. We can let Williams clears. Murray inside. Wisdom goes again. A man again who hasn't scored. Gets another shot. Comes close. El Mahasini. He picked up a knock. Garbutt now. Tihi back to no one. Brilliant. Can we get in on these fucking players, please? Second to every ball again. That's the one that annoys me the most. Is when we're just there, but we're not actually there. It's like, get in. Get a ball back. Make a tackle. Clara now. Inside the daily. Turn out. Turn out. Turan. Into Mahasini. Back to Turan. Come on. Think forwards. Daily. Turan. Again. Is that all we're left with? Is a long boy over the top that doesn't work. Why are we stumped? Williams wins this ball. Goes inside. Maguire's there. Yes. Sean Maguire gets his goal. Nico Williams with the early cross. Maguire. Mags. Bags. He's going for it. 15th goal of the season for him. Third goal for the club. We are looking a little bit mute in the middle, aren't we? We are going through the middle. I wonder if actually what I'm going to do is we're, we're not going to focus. Let's focus out wide. We've got wingers now. Let's play out wide. We're playing through the middle. We've got no um, no ability there at the moment. We keep getting stuck. Let's use the wingers. Let's throw some balls in the box. As Turan fires a lovely shot in. Tihi puts it back in the box. Turan! Oh. Come on, mate. Turan had a bit in over the transfer period as well. I forgot to tell you about. Uh, Galatasaray came in for him. And he wanted to move. I had to convince him to stay. All right, it's half time. 1-1. One, one. Let's go for a get fight. Let's get him fired up. Let's send him back out there. We're going to make some subs. We just need to work out when and how. Let's see if we can give him a bit of time to get back in it. Ah, that's a dodgy tackle. Okay. Williams has got away with that. I like it. If he gets away with it, good tackle. If he doesn't, then he's an idiot. We've dropped short. Murray out to Magooch. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I thought Magic was going to shoot then. Garbutt's managed to rob it from him. Max chases down the loose ball. Win it. Yes. No. Win it and then give it straight back to them. What's the point? Magooch. Magooch. Puts it long and wide and out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hernandez and Mahasini both just need to come off. They're the ones we're going to make. Right. Tuluk on as an inside forward. Why is this not working as a personalized freaking in the tactic? I need to go look at it. Hernandez out. Kyle Haley in. 
Holmes isn't playing well, so Zach can come on. That might be the third and final sub that we'll make. We'll do it in about five, ten minutes if we're going to do it. Let's see how these attacking players can do it. Williams now inside. Haley. Come on, Haley. You need to get back in. You need to put this injury behind you. Start showing me what I brought you in for. Daily. Turan. Into Tihi. Go wide because you guys are crap in the middle. Haley. Daily. Turan. Same three passes. Williams is now a little bit further forward. He's gone for a long ball into a look. Oh, he's hit the post. We hit the post like that every game. Oh my God. Daily. He's gone. To look. Come on. Come on, Ryan. Inside. He does one. Does two. Jean Pierre. Oh, he's P rolled it. He's P rolled it at the goalie. Let's go for a demand more. Come on. Nine shots, six on target. 61% possession. This is our game. This is our win to have. We just need one more goal for one of the useless sacks of poops. Go on, push for We've had nothing. 74 minutes on the clock. Nothing coming through. God, Gallagher's won that header there. That's not good. It's gone inside. Clara's cleared. Honeyman's there. Walsh. Oh. Jesus. Come on. Come on. Gunnarsson. Out to Garbutt. Come forward. Come forward. You're on attack. You're on attack. You're on attack. Move forward. For fuck's sake, you've got so much space in front of you. Run forward with the ball. Oh, my God. You're a fullback on attack, and you don't know how to run forward with the ball. Garbutt, what are you doing? Haley. This is the problem. Now we're running with our one or two attackers against a whole line of defence because our fullbacks are not getting forward and doing their job. Maja. Gallagher's there. Oh, going to ask him with a save. Fucking hell, that was frustrating. That was frustrating. <laughs> Watching my players stand still with the ball. Holmes is having a dodgy game again. Let's get him off. Let's get Viner on. Oh, fucking hell. Ten minutes. I'm going to push it to positive. Let's take advantage of this game, please. Zach, you're in. Come on. Out to Haley. Maguire does one. Hits it hard at Norman. Norman with the save. Come on, Mags. You got to sort us out, mate. You got to keep scoring. Keep scoring. Like at least two a game. Garbutt with the corner. T. Viner. Oh, my God. Viner's put it in. Garbutt goes in again. Turan's there. Oh, it's in the post. Yeah. Wisdom has put it in his own goal. The guy that got in has scored his first goal of the season. Has scored his second goal of the season. And it's in his own net. Oh my god. Why Viner didn't put it in there? I don't know. That was bad. Garbutt's then put it in. Turan with a great header. Oh, it's hit the post. And Maguire. I was like, why is Maguire not going for this? Wisdom has just hoofed it in his own net. Oh, with like seconds to go. We've gone up. What happened there? That was a great little ball into Turan. We didn't get to see the outcome of it. Haley now. 30 seconds. Jean-Pierre, just keep hold of the ball, boys. Keep hold of the ball. To look out wide. Daly. Turan. There we go. Garber. I like it. I like it. In it goes. To look. Turan. Find the space. Tihi. Daly. Go wide. Go wide. Williams. Ball in. Oh, get the ball in. Williams. Daly. Turan. Fine. Are they going for it? Wow, we're just passing around here. Is this going to actually be a highlight or is it just the end of the game? It's just the end of the game. It's just the end of the game. I thought I was getting excited as if we were going to do something there, but it was just the, the end highlight. And we have got away with that one sneakily. Andre, he's still got man of the match. He scored a goal. He's got two goals, technically, so I suppose. Passionate, very well done. We, we were lucky. We were lucky there. We got away with that. But we got a win. We came from behind. We won a game. Massini's out for four weeks. Jesus. And then we've got a slightly easier run now. So we've got who? We've got Sheffield United, then Sheffield Wednesday. Interesting. 20th and 14th in the league currently. Rotherham, then near 23rd. So three games we should be winning. And then I'll see you back for Derby Crystal Palace. Third and first. We're back up to fourth in the championship. Good. 50 points. But one loss and it all drops away. We need to keep, keep pace. To be fair, only seven points away from Swansea. Crystal Palace are going up top. But an automatic promotion place is only seven points away. We have done crazier things. In this, uh, in this save so far. But I'm going to leave it there. If you have enjoyed, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you back next time when we will be in March. Only March and April left, really. Yeah, there's one game in May. But a few months left of this first season in the championship. Starting to hot up. Uh, have a great evening. Subscribe if you're new. Bye-bye.